Charles Davis, Daniel Jeremiah, do your best with what we have. And we certainly will do that, Andrew. We will take you inside what we think is the draft room or approximation of it for the Denver Broncos. They're a little busy today, Daniel Jeremiah, with some other things. So we'll take care of the draft stuff. Depth charts, offense, defense, strengths, weaknesses, top 50 list of Daniel Jeremiah's. That'll serve as kind of the best player available on draft night. Who's still up and who's ready to go? They have picked 31 in the first round, the last pick of the first round, and then 63 in the second round. So, Daniel, I think it all starts on offense. Andrew already framed up. Brock Osweiler, quarterback. Will he be back or not? That will shape their draft board. Now, I'd be shocked if he's not a Denver Bronco this next season, Charles. But let's just let's assume for a second that he moves on. Say he decides to go to Houston or Cleveland or somewhere. Uh, the decision here for their options, pick 31-63, as you mentioned. Connor Cook from Michigan State, I think they probably would have to take him at 31. I don't know that they will see him at pick 63, the quarterback out of Michigan State, who has a lot to like about him. And then there's Dak Prescott, who I think should be there at pick number 63. So those are a couple quarterback options they could have if for some reason Osweiler isn't back. But I'll be surprised if that's the case. Okay, you saw the board with free agents and people. There are a couple running backs on there. So let's talk running back for the Broncos right now because C.J. Anderson and Ronnie Hillman could very well both be gone. If they decide to go running back at 31, Derrick Henry, I think, would be the option there from Alabama because we would assume Ezekiel Elliott is gone from Ohio State. But they want to go a little bit deeper in the draft. There are a couple guys who are pretty darn good there. Kenneth Dixon from Louisiana Tech, an all-around terrific back. And Devontae Booker, a high carry, high volume back out of Utah. They both could be available at 63. Yeah, Devontae Booker is my third running back, Charles. We've talked a lot about him already on the show this year, but how about Kenneth Dixon? You mentioned him from Louisiana yep. Tech. I thought the job he did at the Senior Bowl, he's got enough size to be able to handle some carries, can catch the ball out of the backfield. Really, really productive. Love his quickness. Yeah, and he did run inside with some toughness, didn't he? No and question. With also the ability to catch the football. And of course, the offensive line. We can't ignore the offensive line. Ryan Clady missed all of last year. Ryan Harris filled in for him. Revolving door at right tackle. Could they possibly go there? I think there are a couple candidates there. One from Texas A&M, one from Indiana. Yeah, Spriggs from Indiana, great combine. But I'm going to go with a Fetty. Let's pop a Fetty up there at pick number 31. I think that's about the range of where he's going to go. He's played tackle. He's played guard at A&M, 320-plus pounds. He's long. I think he has tremendous upside as a pass protector. Could fill a need for this football team. We'll see if Ryan Clay is going to be back there. This next year, they got some other issues to address along the offensive line, and he has some versatility. Yeah, and he's played a lot on the right side, so if Clady comes back, let's move over to the defensive side of the ball. Let's face it, one of the all-time great runs in NFL history in the playoffs and through the Super Bowl, the Denver Broncos defense. But really, the place we will focus today will be up front. They do have some free agents that they have to deal with. Malik Jackson being a key one who had such a great Super Bowl run. Derek Wolf was a free agent. They got him signed during the playoffs, uh, during the playoff run, so he's taken care of. But they've got to get that part figured out, don't they? Yeah, look at how about Jahad Ward here from Illinois? Pick number 63, defensive lineman. You talk about athletic, 6'5 and change, about 300 pounds. Somebody that has big time speed and burst coming around the edge for his size, can really bend as well. A, a great athlete. I don't think he's there yet in terms of his ability, Charles, but you've got somebody with tremendous upside that can give you some presence at the point of attack with a lot of upside as a pass rusher. Yeah, and I think that's going to be the key for him because if people who are watching this and your Broncos fans are going to go and look at John Ward's numbers at Illinois and you're going to say to yourself, I don't know about that. I think he's going to be one of those guys who's going to be a better pro in terms of numbers and production than maybe he was in college. So we'll just see how it all turns out.